Welcome to our video demonstrating the proper application of SIP tape when used with Premier SIPs. Resource Manual and SIP Tape This video will demonstrate the application of SIP tape as part of overall SIP construction. We will focus first on the application of SIP tape in generally cooler northern climate zones. SIP tape is applied following the Premier SIPs resource manual details to ensure long-term, durable SIP structures. Surface Preparation and Roller All surfaces must be clean, dry, and free of dust, dirt, grease, oil, and any other contaminants that may interfere with adhesion. For all SIP tape applications shown, peel back the release paper as you apply the SIP tape. A soft rubber roller is required to firmly mate SIP tape onto SIP surfaces. A soft rubber roller is important to ensure the SIP tape is pressed into the textured SIP surface. Ridge Beams SIP tape is installed on the ridge beam prior to SIP roof installation. SIP tape is installed without removing the release paper and with the release paper facing away from the ridge beam. 18 inch wide SIP tape is carefully placed over the ridge beam and tacked to the ridge beam. SIP roof installation can proceed following the Premier SIP's resource manual details. Once the SIP roof is in place and covered with appropriate exterior weather protection, interior SIP installation can proceed. The release paper on the previously installed SIP tape can now be removed and the SIP tape pressed upward onto the SIP roof surface. The use of a roller is required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP roof surface. Roof-to-wall application of SIP tape. 12-inch wide SIP tape is placed over roof-to-wall connections where the SIP roof and SIP walls are not flush. It's important to ensure SIP tape overlaps both the wall SIP and the roof SIP at least 2 inches. The use of a roller is required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP wall and roof surfaces. Four inch wide SIP tape is now placed over roof to wall connections where the SIPs are flush. Again, the use of a roller is required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP roof and wall surface. Roof splines and SIP tape. Four inch wide SIP tape is placed over roof spline connections. The use of a roller is required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP roof surface. SIP tape installation can proceed over all SIP roof spline joints. Wall corners and SIP tape. Four inch wide SIP tape is carefully placed over corner connections. The use of a roller is again required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP wall surfaces. Wall Splines and SIP Tape 4 inch wide SIP tape is carefully placed over wall spline connections. A roller is required to firmly mate the SIP tape onto the SIP wall surface. SIP tape installation can proceed over all SIP wall spline joints. Completed SIP Tape Application the use of SIP tape applied to spline connections, wall and roof connections, and ridge beams results in a virtually airtight SIP installation. SIP tape in warm, humid climates. SIP tape installation in warm, humid climates follows the general processes shown in this video, 
but installation is on the exterior of the building. The Premier SIPS resource manual provides details on the installation of SIP tape in warm, humid climates. Exterior SIP tape installation occurs at the ridge, on all roof splines, roof-to-wall intersections, wall corners, and wall splines. The application of SIP tape either interior or exterior, should be specified by the building designer based on the local climate and code considerations. SIP sealant and SIP tape. SIP tape discussed in this video is available from your Premier SIP supplier. General use building tapes are not appropriate for use with Premier SIPs. The use of Premier SIP sealant in combination with SIP tape results in a virtually airtight installation. Please watch our separate SIP sealant installation video. For more information and details, please refer to the Premier SIPs resource manual. And visit our website at premiersips.com.